Okay, so this is a video for a 2000 Chevy Silverado 5.3 liter V8. It's a Z71 4x4. And I'm showing you how to remove the evaporator core from your truck underneath the dash. Um, standard procedure requires that you remove the dash as I'm showing you right here. Uh, it's a tedious and lengthy process. However, there's a couple videos on here and I wanted to maybe make a better video kind of to show you what to expect. Um, basically, I have the glove compartment actually back here. Let me take a look. Um, there's videos that shows you how to do it and basically what you need is one of these suckers right here. Uh, Zawsaw, I got this in my extended cab. I picked this up over at Harbor Freight Tools. I think it was 30 or 40 bucks and you got to buy blades for it. And basically, you want to use one that cuts through metal and plastic because you do have to cut through a couple metal pieces here. And here's what you'll end up with. Here's down here. Here's, sorry, there's below the glove compartment right here. As you can see, this piece here used to attach right where you see the uh, broken pieces right here and here. And actually, there's some there's some rivets I believe that you got to remove too. Um, Fairly, fairly straightforward. There's uh, three plastic pieces basically that you cut through and eventually you just throw these away. There's no use for them. There's columns here on the side that the glove compartment can reattach to easily and uh, it should support it just fine. This is just a less costlier technique or method to try and get to your evaporator. I was quoted about 800 bucks to fix it and my truck's not worth probably not even maybe $3,500, so $800, as you can see, is probably not worth it for me to sink into my truck. However, I have the uh, evaporators here. Here's the old evaporator. I mean, it looks fine, but I guess they, they did a dye test on it. They said there was a leak, and I think for about 40 bucks on eBay, or I think you could go to uh, partsgeek.com and get them pretty cheap. However, these bolts that uh, hold down the evaporator um, you'll have to take them off the old evaporator and reattach them to the new evaporator. And also, there's some insulating padding that I took off the old evaporator and reattached to the actual new evaporator. Basically, what I did was, once I saw sawed the actual bar off, as you can see here, those end pieces, right there and there, I also had to go in, there's a plastic housing that... I kind of didn't do the greatest job down here because this is the drip tray. However, there's videos that show that you got to use um, duct tape and uh, duct glue sealant. Uh, that's duct D-U-C-K D -U -C -K tape and then duct D-U-C-T sealant or an adhesive that you will put over this. You'll uh, use the old pieces, which I'll show you right here. There's the old pieces right there that I cut out. For that part, because I thought this is all saw and I saw a video about it, was just not as accurate enough. I got a rotary tool, which is essentially a Dremel. And I got one of these pieces right here. And it just is more, more of a finer precision cut. And it's kind of like surgery, man. You just got to get in there and cut a decent square. That way you have enough room to pull out the old evaporator. That bottom drip tray pan, you kind of got to cut on the sides, like it says on another video, to give it some leeway to wiggle it out of there. And don't forget, you've got to take the mousing, mounting bolts, the nuts, they're right there from the actual uh, collector or whatever that piece is called right there <laughs> but it's fairly straightforward just um, cut off the bar behind the glove compartment to remove the glove compartment you'll see the housing behind it you'll use one of these rotary tools to cut it out and I'm probably gonna make a part two of this to kind of to show you how I duct taped it and sealed it back up but it's pretty straightforward. This is a 2000 Chevy Silverado. I believe it'll work from 2000 up to 2005 or 6, I believe. It's the same schematic, same design. And you can see the hole through there where the where the uh, mounting uh, goes for the evaporator out to the engine bay. Uh, but that's it. That's all I got. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel, feel free to uh, comment on my video. Buzz Trucker is my name. And uh, I'll be maybe happy to help you out with any questions you might have in the process. But save yourself if it's your evaporator. Um, a lot of money man I mean really if you just were to get the tools which you'll be able to use in the future and replace the evaporator you could probably pretty much do everything I think for under a hundred dollars um, 
that's I think even including refilling it with refrigerant. Um, I recommend if you do decide to recharge it um, to bring it to a shop and let them uh, uh, vacuum it out and uh, recharge the AC for you. That way, there's no moisture in your lines because I live in Florida and I know that there's probably it's midsummer. There's you know moisture in the air and it'll collect in the lines and you don't want that. Um, it'll ruin your system faster. So that's all I got. Uh, any questions or comments, please do so below in the video. Thanks a lot for watching my video. I appreciate it.